Hello Libra, welcome to this bonus love reading. This is going to be your outlook for love for the year 2022. We're going to be looking at a bunch of stuff. Obviously, we're going to be looking at what's coming your way in love. We're going to be looking at who you might be dealing with. And then we're also going to ask Spirit for advice uh, for Libra on how to approach love in the year 2022. So I'm going to jump right in because these are meant to be short and sweet. They are general, so... These readings will not resonate with every Libra watching. I'm sorry about my dog in the background. <laughs> Shaking uh, for some reason. Um, so take what resonates for you, Libra. Take what applies to you. And check out your other placements, especially for these types of readings. Your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance for you. Because sometimes those messages can resonate more. I have all of the playlists linked in the description box for each sign. So let's jump right in, spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. For Libra regarding love in the year 2022, what can Libra expect, spirit, in love in 2022? Wow, true love, first card out. Beautiful. What can Libra expect in love in the year 2022? What can Libra expect? This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow, and then we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Right away, I'm picking up two energies here. Bottom of the deck, I have pay attention to the red flags. So you might be um, having, and you know, I did Gemini a few days ago for the 2022 outlook, and they had um, this message of letting go of what they thought was for them, but it ended up not being for them. Um, and then love was gonna come in. Uh, later in the year. So I think that this is possibly a similar scenario where there's something that's not meant for you. A connection, a person, a situation that you've been in, um, maybe the partner you have in mind um, is, is probably not what is meant for you. But there is someone out there. True love is here. I just feel like you have to possibly wake up to this idea that, you know, it's not all you know, it's not what you hope it is or going, how do I explain this? <laughs> I'm having a hard time putting into words. Um, be careful with illusions, I guess I should say. Um, be careful with what you want to see rather than what is actually there, because that's what pay attention to the red flags is all about. Let's see what else we get. Let's get a stellar energy oracle. What else for Libra regarding love in 2022? What can they expect in love spirit? What can they expect in love in 2022? Okay, hold on. That was a sloppy. We do one more. What can Libra expect in love in the year 2022 for Libra? What message advice do you have for Libra? No. Time out. Gemini also got something about timing, paralyzing fear. What else for Libra? What can they expect? in love what can they expect in love what can they expect in love wow parting ways and mirrored souls exactly what i was saying with these two energies here parting ways is about separations disconnects divides divorce breakups heartache from a past separation or divide so the fact that mirrored souls came right out this is true love soulmate energy twin flame energy fate you know i think some of you could be scared uh, anxious about love um scared about the new scared to let go but i feel like this is the message and i, I for some reason is very similar to gemini which is kind of funny because gemini was a couple days ago <laughs> so let's see what we get time out also gemini got a card about timing timing patience waiting timing is of the essence so for you in love there could be a, a situation with timing and especially if you are required or you're being advised to let go of an attachment that takes time you know um, or that could be delaying love from coming in but there's definitely a soulmate here mirrored souls true love this is very strong energy let's see what we get with the tarot what other advice guidance do you have for libra for the year 2022, what advice, guidance do you have for Libra regarding love? What can they expect in the year 2022, Spirit, when it comes to love? 
Oh, wow. You came out in your own reading. Justice and moon reverse. Exactly. Pisces energy, Libra energy, um, moon reverse. So an illusion turned on its head. Whatever is hidden, tucked away under the surface, being revealed, being seen clearly. And I feel like this is happening to you. I also feel like this reveal will make things right, will rebalance things. The restoring balance was at the bottom of the deck. So I find that very uh, interesting that it's coming out. What else for Libra? What else? What's coming their way in love in 2022? Wow, Ten of Swords. What else? And the Ace of Wands. Exactly. That is the theme. Some sort of cycle closing and some sort of new beginning for you, Libra. That's going to be 2022 in love. Can I get one more? One more set, please, for Libra. What is coming their way in love? King of Wands reverse. Okay. What's coming their way in love? Eight of Wands reverse. This is a delay. This is the delay. Eight of Swords is reversed at the bottom of the deck, which tells me this is someone that will need to possibly get out of their head, not overthink so much, not overanalyze so much. There is a way out of their situation. Um, being free of this mental prison they've been in for whatever time they've been in this kind of state. Um, Eight of Wands reversed is a card about stuck energy, uh, delays, things coming to a halt um messages action being blocked or delayed so we'll have to see what this is about uh king of wands reverse aries leo sagittarius energy you could be dealing with someone difficult um but i on honestly i see these two energies as the opposite of someone taking action and being bold when i see these two together plus the bottom of the deck i think the king of wands reverse is not someone that has an ego problem or an anger problem um, or a controlling problem. I'm thinking of someone that's not taking action, not going after what they want, um, and that could be due to fear. We'll see. So let's get the clarifiers out. What does Libra need to know? Any guidance, insight for Libra spirit? Can we get some clarity on these energies? Ten of Swords there again, and the Ace of Cups on the other side, just, just, just in case you needed more confirmation. What else for Libra? What do they need to know? Libra, your eyes are going to be opened to something, and I think it might be happening towards the beginning of the year. Let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Moon Reverse. What's this Moon Reverse about for Libra? What's this Moon Reverse doing here? What's this about? Wow, Three of Swords, yep. This won't be easy. Some of you, the for the Libras that I'm speaking to, um, there's something here that has is either heartbreaking and has already happened or will be heartbreaking to figure out, to realize. And that could be because you have to let something go. That could be because there's an ending happening, a separation for some of you. Tell me about the moon reverse. What's this? What's this? What do we need to know, Spirit? Page of Swords. Information. Communication. Um, there is something coming in for you with this moon reverse that will change things for you. The Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. It might be painful, but it's bringing momentum. Things are shifting for you. What's behind this? I'm curious. Ah, Seven of Wands and then the King of Swords. You might resist this for a little bit. This might be something that you haven't been wanting to admit. This might be something that's difficult to accept. That's what I heard. Difficult to accept. So be very, uh, make sure your eyes are open. Um, especially um, if there's something that you've been in. Again, I told Gemini the same thing. Sometimes we want to manifest what we feel is the best thing for us and it turns out that that's not what we're meant to have um i feel like there's going to be some sort of information that you receive that brings about some sort of reality check this could be through the internet with the page of swords can i get one more with the moon reverse this could have also already happened, but you're still reeling from it. You're still dealing from with it in the beginning of the year. 
tell me about the moon reverse can i get one more please for this moon reverse oh the high priestess ah <laughs> So it's just such po powerful energy. The moon reverse with the high priestess to me is almost like your intuition has been confirmed. Intuitively, you've been rocked. You know, um, secret has come out. I feel like the Libras that I'm talking to here, you deep down already knew this. It's just, it's one thing to um, have suspicions. It's one thing to wonder, and it's another thing to, have, to be confirmed, right? Please, I, I apologize if I'm not making sense in terms of like my center, sentence structure. I have so many messages, like I feel like I'm being slapped. <laughs> and I'm trying to like um, process what I'm seeing in my mind and, and hearing and also trying to speak coherently and it's just not working, so. Bear with me, Libra. <laughs> um, these are very powerful energies here, like I was, like I've been saying. Um, the Hierophants at the bottom of the deck with the Three of Wands, Taurus energy. I'm not getting marriage or commitment from the Hierophant here. Again, I'm getting an idea. Um, the Hierophant is about values, tradition what we are comfortable with, conforming, um, the status quo, doing the right thing, appearing like you're doing the right thing, stability, right? I feel like this is what you have in mind, a certain uh, idea about love or about a certain person or about a certain connection. This is already in your head. I feel like you've been waiting for this to happen. But I think the message so far that I'm getting here is it was never meant to happen. Or at least it's not the right time. And I think that's where the fear comes. Uh, because sometimes because of fear, we stick to what we know. It's scary to get out of our comfort zone. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. What's this? Oh, yeah. This information, Queen of Swords. This information, what you know, can cannot be unknown. What you know is, is almost like uh, there's no way but to end this. Also, I feel like a lot of you might become tough, you know, might just address this head on, be like, it's, I'm done, it's done, or it's no more, something like that, you know, it's the queen of swords, uh, with the 10 of swords, it's done. <laughs> there, 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 I mean, and it's not done. It's, it's cut off coldly. She will just cut you off. She will move on and she will not look back. That's the queen of swords. Can I get one more for the Ten of Swords? Yeah, Nine of Cups. Uh, this Queen of Swords is thinking about herself, her needs, her desires, her satisfaction. Again, a dream, a desire, a wish that I feel this Queen of Swords is cutting right through ten of swords nine of cups you know a dream has died i don't want to scare anybody by the way <laughs> because endings are tough but you have the ace of wands here you have mirrored souls you have justice you have true love i mean this is this isn't all doom and gloom right but this is spiritual cycles at the bare, you know, spiritual cycles are like this. Um, karmic cycles are like this. Um, and this is something that I talk about a lot about on my channel is the, the power of cycles, the, the, how do I say it? The, 
the idea of having to close a door in order to walk through a new one. I am a big believer in that because it always comes up in the tarot. The tarot itself, the fool to the world is a cycle, you know? And the world leads to the fool. So there has to be an ending to start over, to start again, to go down a new path. And the fool is all about risk leap of faith you don't know where you're headed you don't you don't know exactly where the road will lead you just know you have to go tell me about the ace of wands what's this ace of wands about three of cups what's the ace of wands about what's the ace of wands about knight of cups exactly there's something coming in for you with this Ace of Wands. You could be starting to meet other people, mingling, meeting through friends, family, putting yourself out there, hanging out more with your friends or your close people that are close to you. And a Knight of Cups arrives. But I want to be very clear, you know, tarot is, and, and the reason I love it so much, tarot is all about potential. Tarot is not de definitive. Um, it is it it's, is a message, but it's up to you how you are going to make it happen in your life. You know, if there's a Knight of Cups that could be coming in, and you shut yourself up in your house, you will not ever see that Knight of Cups. But since you're aware that a Knight of Cups could be coming in for you, you damn well be getting out of the house <laughs> and putting yourself. And it's many situations where this Knight of Cups could arrive for you. That's what you do with tarot. Let me not start getting into that. That's like a whole other thing. So let's see what this uh, delay is with the King of Wands reverse and the Eight of Wands reverse. What's going on here for Libra with this King of Wands reverse and the Eight of Wands reverse? What's going on here, Spirit? What insight can you give us on this Eight of Wands reverse and the King of Wands reverse? Five of Cups. Okay. What can you tell us? What can you tell us about this Eight of Wands? reverse king of wands reverse i think this is in your head six of swords yeah the past must be left behind and this is much harder to do than it sounds you could say you're done but you have to be energetically done queen of wands at the bottom of the deck and you need to move forward you need to be able to take that action queen of wands king of wands all about action the fact that the king of wands is reversed with the eight of, of uh, wands reverse telling me someone is not taking the action or is prevented from taking this action and it could be because you're still thinking about what has happened five of cups it might take you some time to get out of your head about this one libra because it's not easy to give up what we thought was meant for us you know we always feel like our plan is the right one but sometimes spirit has other plans Tell me more about the King of Wands reverse, Eight of Wands reverse. Tell me more for Libra. Yep, death. Scorpio energy. The message is the message. <laughs> Libras are going through the ending of a cycle. If you are single right now, this ending is releasing an attachment, okay? If you broke up years ago, and you're still attached spiritual, spiritually to this person, you have to let that go. You have to cut the cord. Let's find out who this person is coming in. Spirit, what can you tell you, what can you tell us? I can't speak today, I don't know what's going on. What can you tell us about the person that Libra is dealing with in 2022 or that is coming their way in 2022? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know for Libra? Wow, the star. Beautiful. Aquarius energy. What do we need to know for Libra? What do we need to know? Six of Swords reverse. The star is about hope, faith, renewal, healing. Tell me about the Six of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Six of Swords reverse. Two of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords reverse. I'm getting a few messages here. Some of you will be dealing with a person who is recently out of a difficult situation, possibly a marriage. 
King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person could be walking away from something in their own life that's taking time to leave. It's like you're mirroring each other. But I feel like this person's coming in to give you hope again. This person's coming in to perhaps heal something. Um, this could be somebody from the past. But it's not the person you have to cut. You know, don't, don't, don't get it twisted. You have to cut an attachment. Because this is some, someone else. This could be a, a, a past life connection. That you just haven't met in this life. I feel like this person has been dealing with a lot. Two of Pentacles, Five of Swords. But they're coming in as a King of Pentacles. You know, it's probably going to take them some time to get out of whatever cycle they are in. Tell me more about this star. Tell me more about this star. What do we need to know about this star? Justice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is a beautiful reading, Libra. Even though, you know, it's been kind of like doom and gloom in parts, it really is a beautiful reading when you when you look at it as a whole. This will be fair to you. This will be just. This will be uh, someone that gives you what you deserve. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? The dragon, wow. A spiritual card the dragon is about seeing seeing one's true self this person that's coming in knows exactly who they are and they've probably had to learn a really tough lesson to learn this um, this is someone that what you see is what you get this is someone that knows themselves uh, in a deep level and is very honest about who they are and um, what they bring to the table what else do we need to know about this person? Libra, you show up again. Justice, justice, Libra. <laughs> this person, I feel, is going to be your equal. This is your equal. Bottom of the deck, warm, kind and affectionate, and also happens to be a sweetheart. Who doesn't, who doesn't want someone like that to come into their life, right? I mean, it's just so beautiful. Okay, let's see what advice does Spirit have for you for love in 2022. Spirit, what advice do you have for Libra? What advice do you have for Libra when it comes to love in the year 2022? What advice do you have for Libra and how they should approach love in 2022? What advice do you have for Libra and how they should approach love in 2022? Advice, wisdom, guidance for Libra. By the book number 11. Bless. Let me get another one. Number 11. I love that number. Two pillars. Ones are all about potential, opportunities, beginnings. I feel like you're being given a second chance. Any advice for Libra on how to approach love? On how to approach love in 2022? Oh, I got... Wow. We got the death card again. This is amazing. And the five of cups kind of came out. Orphaned, number five. Regeneration, number 46. And, and by the book. Let's start with by the book. I'm not going to go into these too long because I'm already like, this is a long video. Abiding by social rules. Conformity. Respecting cultural or family customs. Universal laws. This is the Hierophant, essentially. Um, so let me just see what sticks out here. Let me go to, I guess we should talk about relationship message. Find the middle ground that allows the relationship to flourish while honoring the individuality of the other person. Play things by the book instead of trying to break the rules or pressure others to conform to the way you want to do them. Your connection will deepen as a result. I think this is what needs to go, <laughs> to be honest, because why, why is it coming out with these two energies? It's almost like going by the rules, doing things as you should have done them, um, doing things as you thought you were meant to do them has only led to disappointment. Number five, a sense of loss 
an identity crisis, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place, right? And then we have number 46, which I feel is the most important message because it's come out so many times. Rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. This is what this is what spirit is letting you know. It's almost like you need to look at love differently or you need to approach love differently because the way you've been doing it so far possibly hasn't worked for you libra and this is something that maybe you're realizing at the beginning of the year no matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now death and endings are only illusions there is life after death love after loss and in this moment you're radiating the regenerative force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. Well, I hope you're ready for it, Libra, because it's yours if you want it. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. Leave a comment if you claim this reading um, or if you just want to say hi. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.